having just paid another huge fucking chunk of taxes. <clears throat> Okay, and I've been telling you to watch that Freedom to Fascism I watched doc it. I documentary. Watched it. Yeah, well, they yeah. basically sh are showing how income tax isn't even legal. This is voluntary tax, how the Federal Reserve is just a group of bankers, and the IRS is the, the agency that, you know, that's like their bouncers. Right. They come out with <laughs> their little headsets, pull up in that black van. <laughs> yeah, yeah. As you try to hide behind your the desk you bought at Staples. Yeah, yeah. And try to well, <laughs> grab some receipts out of that fucking trash can. But this is what kills me, man. So, so let's just say, for sake of argument, my grandmother grosses a, a million dollars in her lifetime. Okay? And, you know, whenever she passes, and, and so already they took half of that. Right. Okay? Now, say somehow she was able to invest and you you make 500 grand. Yeah. They come in when you, you I didn't realize this. When you die, you can't just give like money out to people, you know? They take half of that. So they would have taken 500 then another 250. They they So they got 75% of her money. They they the will. The Dude, it's 75 uh, like well, half of what you made and then they half of whatever you saved. It's unbelievable. So, so basically dying a rich person is, is very stupid. Dude, you can't. Yeah, it's it's pointless. It's pointless. You 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 can save all the. I mean, it's it's really incredible. Like when you see what they do to your money when you die. It, it doesn't matter how much you amass during your life and how much you save. When you're gone, they're getting the bulk of it. And Dude, but what kills know, it's me? It's not going to provide any real security. Yeah, but what kills me is according to this thing is it's not the government. I used to pay it, going like, all right, this sucks, but you know, this is for the roads. This is for you know the bus system, the subways. Uh, you know what I mean. This is so they keep Abraham Lincoln's head shiny at the Lincoln Memorial. I had no problem with it. Well, but now is... I'm finding that you you already pay taxes for all of that anyways. You pay forty cents a gallon on gas. This this thing, dude. It had like you'd have to be the rain man to remember all the taxes you're paying that you don't even know about. Right. Forget about you know uh, uh, property tax and all that crap. And then they have this income tax on the top, dude. It's the way. Do they even control like how you spend your money? Like, say every year, like I I have a chunk of money left, and I have two options: either I can stick it into my my SEP IRA. What I want to do is I want to pay down my fucking mortgage. But if I do that, then they're going to take like Elvis taxes on it. But right. if I stick it into my IRA, they're not going to fuck with it. But where does that money go? It goes into it goes into to, down to Wall Street, into the corporation. So they're making money off of my fucking money. Well, what is the, like, I don't understand, though. This is what I, what I always get confused about. That's all based on a documentary I watched eight months ago and no follow-up research whatsoever. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> what is the, but I don't understand, if, they're, if, the, if it's not the government, what is the, what, I don't, that's the part that confuses me. How do they function legally? I guess they were basically, they're, they're a group of bankers. You're going back to, like, the Rockefellers, as, as far as what I can remember from watching documentaries and uh, nodding off. Right, reading Wiki Wikipedia, it was basically like uh, like the Rockefellers, J.P. Morgan, those kinds of guys. What they did in like 1907, right mm -hmm. around the time my grandmother was born, right? What they did mm -hmm. was they created uh, a panic in the banks, and they just they started this rumor, which I don't know how the fuck you did it back then. Mm -hmm. Well, you said it to a guy, and you slapped the ass on his horse, and he took <laughs> off screaming frantically. Well, they were all no. The way you did it back then was that the the banks. This is actually the reason. This is true. This is the reason that marijuana is still illegal in the United States, because after Prohibition, they were going to re-legalize marijuana as well as alcohol, and they didn't, because back in those days, it's like the banks and the newspapers were in bed together, like 100%. So that's what yellow journalism, that's how it became so strong, basically, was because they had basically all the major finance in the country behind Joe, I'm trying to talk about what I don't know anything about. Can I, can I finish with that first? <laughs> but I'm saying that's why, that's how, that's what they did. They... They had the papers oh, they'd on have their the papers side. Oh, they had the papers to it. Oh, I get it. I get the, it. Well, so basically, they fear. basically started this rumor that this one bank didn't have any money left. Mm -hmm. So it caused a run on the bank. Now, obviously, they're always loaning out money. So if everybody goes down there, they don't have enough money to cover. So it caused this big fucking panic. They had to basically shut down the banks, and everybody was freaking out. And what these guys did was then they moved him to the government. They said, hey, you should just have one bank. For the government and they somehow <clears throat> convinced them that they're going to print the money they print the money for this country with interest dude I, i'm so fucking stupid i don't even get what they're doing i just know that they're making a ton of cash and then like eight years later or something like that they snuck in this income tax why can't the government just print the money though well you know who's the last guy who tried doing that joe evidently it was john f kennedy <laughs> he tried i swear to god dude i'm not making this shit up I, I he tried and that man was he he printed like a billion like like four billion dollars 
he was going to try to do away with those guys because then, you know. I, <laughs> Didn't so, John Lennon write a song about that? Yeah. <laughs> huh? And there he is. He's gone. <laughs> Dude, all I'm Jesus saying, Christ. Joe, this is the thing about this stuff. Like, seriously, people listen because everybody thinks I'm a fucking whack job when it comes to this, except for a few guys who actually send me these things like a funny thing happened on the way to the moon and that type of thing. But it's like, like I'm not one of these conspiracy theorists who believes in like, you know, you know, George Bush is an alien or blah or, or I, I but I definitely believe like there's, you know, dude, when you watch like these fucking little hacky dictators, like when I look at dictators that they're, they're like, they're like open mic, like, like. <laughs> Pentagon people. Yeah. I so, know you know, you they're just sloppy. They got to shoot people in the streets and all that. We got it so fucking down, or they do, that they, they just have this system in place. Well, like, it's like real, it's like the real gangsters. Like, real gangsters don't broadcast it. It's the douchebag that runs the deli that's always running his fucking mouth. You know who the fuck I am? You know what I mean? Yeah, like, yeah, like we, we talked one of the first episodes of that. Like, the, the, the war veteran who actually saw action doesn't talk about it. And then yeah. the guy who's slicing up potatoes. He just, you know, he starts splicing together Rambo movies that he saw yeah, yeah. and just puts himself in as, 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 like, the lead character. Yeah, that's true, man. That's true. That's funny. Yeah, the dictators are the, are the loudmouths, but the real guys, you know, they're wearing the suits. They're at all the fucking fundraisers.